Yeah? Let's look at the solutions because we assume everybody wants to obey. No, no benefit of criticizing. Everybody wants to obey and we be positive and look for example. Yeah? So example is when you see people doing it, it's just copy and paste. Yeah? You just copy what they're doing, it becomes easy. Because when I tell that truth, the church members are stressed. <laughs> but everyone wants to obey. When you tell the examples, then everybody's eyes become bright and happy. Okay, we will see next Sabbath what will happen. <laughs> okay, so in India, they know how to do it because, you know, India is very big. If you ride train, it will take you many days until you reach the other side of the country. So they know how to preserve rice. They coat it with tamarind taste oil and they put salt, etc, etc, etc. So many ways. And the most uh, technological advanced way is what we call retort. If you go to Seymour, all of the preserved food, they are all passed through retort. Uh, we have to raise the temperature to 121, 126 degrees Celsius. After a few minutes, all of the germs inside will be dead and then <coughs> It lasts for many months. Yeah. That's why all the like, that and the lata have the plastic. In in the in Heartland and also in uh, there's a, there's at least two schools. According to that Dr. Farinerona, they their cafeteria does it because I'm looking for examples for so that other people who are who want to copy can. So so many examples. Yan yan. Nai di ba mukhang ano ito? Shapi Shapi or Lazada. I type, I know, uh, MRE, meals ready to eat. Oh, these things, they last many, many months. You can just open. MSG. <laughs> so that one is another topic. So. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. So we have tips, and we have the... Kasi, alam naman natin to. Yung hindi lang natin alam yung kailangan natin Stewardship, that is our topic. This we will skip this one. We just do all our things before we die, so that uh, we can get as much benefit for what our we have done in this life. So to save other people. Christian behavior. Nasa na yung boxing na sinasabi ko dito. Bakit bawal ng bawal ng boxing? Because Philippians 4:8 says, "Whatsoever is true, honest, just, pure, lovely, good report." Think of these things, and if you're allowing it to come into your senses, it goes into your mind. And, sabi sa Romans 1.32, not only those who do, but those who have pleasure in them that do. Yeah? Those who practice bad things deserve to die. Yet, not only them, but who upload? Wapalakpak pa naman. Hindi ko sinasadya. I did not. I did not expect there is upload there. So if you are happy for the people who are doing bad things, you are also deserve judgment. Huh? Romans 1:32. So sa AP kasi bawal man ng tok. So bakit na nanood sila na? na dapat niten tal na nanood ng suntukan. Okay. Because it is not pure. Dapat ang ating ah, dapat ang ating ano, ang ating entertainment ay yung walang nasasaktan. Oh, di ba? Okay, ano pang sabi ko dyan? Our simple, modest need, okay? Gentle and quiet spirit. O, bawal daw palang sumigaw sa ano? Bawal sisigawan ang asawa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gentle and quiet spirit. Because, <coughs> yan, ah, mamaya, meron sa dyan. Pero dito sa, our bodies are temple of the Holy Spirit. <coughs> Unclean food. Oh, ito. Ang apple, pag nalaglag sa kanal, clean pa rin o hindi na clean? <laughs> hugasan. Hugasan. Yung ibang bagay, pwede hugasan. You know, in Leviticus 11, verse 10, Verse, di ba, there is a clean and unclean, but if you read in verse 25 to 35, there is the principle of clean things becoming unclean. Di ba yung lalagyan na lalagyan ng unclean? Pasagi na daw yun at itapon at hindi na, hindi na mahuhugasan yung parayot. Wow. So, because of pollution and contamination, some things become unclean, right? 
That's why even the news says before that the Laguna Lake is not safe for fish or humans. That's why don't go there to swim. Diba pag yun ay past C6, naamoy natin yung, <laughs> yung Laguna Lake. So when you eat fish, you ask the fish. Where are you from? <laughs> According to the pastor, I heard, patanungin mo dahil yung isda sa tagalin. <laughs> so, dito suman ko rin, pag hindi siya sa sumagot, guilty yan. <laughs> so, that's why Ellen White wrote 150 plus years ago that the fish and the cows and even the eggs and the chicken will become more and more unsafe. That's why I always pray, Lord, give me wisdom and understanding. And in 2004, I decided to be vegetarian because I'm feeling something here. I think I'm going to die. I said, I will be vegetarian from now on, December 2004. But I realized I'm just, the bed I'm sleeping is not nice. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm vegetarian already. Wala nung atrasan. I did not decide. It is just an experiment. Until now, it's still experiment. So, I'm not technically vegetarian. I'm just experimenting for 20 years. I can eat, but I just don't like. You know, diba? Tutuhay, but you know, okay. And I'm benefiting from being vegetarian. You know what? After two weeks of my deciding to be vegetarian, all the chicken in Thailand were killed because of bird flu. Now I understand why wisdom and understanding. Understanding came after two weeks. <laughs> But wisdom... <laughs> Kasi yun pala ang panalangin ko. Wisdom and understanding. That's why I become vegetarian without, with wrong understanding. <laughs> But the understanding came later. Okay. So unclean food, there we have the ideal, nuts, fruits, grains, vegetables, acceptable, clean, chicken, fish, etc. But I wonder what's clean, still clean. You open your microscope. <clears throat> you know why, you know, why the more, I mean, yung the age average ng mga matay na Adventist is the same as non-Adventist here in Philippines? You know why? Because of Jollibee. <laughs> <laughs> Meron daw study dito sa Philippines, pre-study, sabi ni Pastor Rex. It blue zone, blue zone study kasi. May, ba, bago ka mag-gumawa ng malaking study, ginagawa ng malaking study, baka mapalpak. Gumawa ng maliit na study sa Pilipinas, pareho lang daw yung age na Adventist na hindi Adventist na mga matay. Kasi yung dyan, <laughs> kaya hindi na nila tinuroy, hindi kasi blue zone dito. Kasi may jollity. Kaya dun nila tinuroy sa ibang bansa. <clears throat> Okay, alcoholic beverages, use of drugs. What is the number one abuse drug? Coffee. Grabbing advertisement kaya ng coffee sa ano. Sorry, sorry. Marami yata na taman. Okay. I will not preach. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Ah. I will not preach. I will just uh, click a link. Skip it up. Wait lang. Huwag niyo na lang ako invite ulit. <laughs> okay. You just uh, you just know it's there. Yeah, I will not read. Because you said I will skip. Okay, I will skip. <laughs> But at least I told you it's there. Because we have to tell the truth. The buses, if you really sit there, every five minutes, advertisement of coffee comes. Yeah? You're not listening, you're not watching, it comes. I observe, it, it's there. So we have to advertise also what Ellen White says. Coffee is sin, though. Pati yung tea. So, yun yung pinakamatigas na siya natin niya. Pero, there is soy coffee and rice coffee and other things. I rice coffee. <laughs> oh, pati itong computer ko, ayaw na. <laughs> Out of memory. Okay. Marriage in the family, the Bible says, Husbands, love your wife. Amen? From the Amen. ladies. And, ladies, submit to your husband. Amen? From the wife, uh, husbands. But both of you, the Bible says, submit to one another. Diba? Ephesians 5. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is good. Okay. Christ's ministry in the heavenly sanctuary. If you understand this, my friend, You will not find any other religion who understands 1844 and this one who understands this correctly. So even if uh, you quarrel here in the church, 
Do not leave the seven day Adventist church. Just put another church somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> so that we will be ready. We will be ready. <laughs> but make sure you understand the doctrines because you can quarrel with your friend like Barnabas and Paul. But the doctrines will not change, yeah? Just stay in the Adventist church. You put your own uh, brand somewhere. <laughs> And uh, paramihan na lang ng ano, paminyag. Okay. There is brotherly competition. <laughs> Christ ministry in the heavenly. Anyway, when the Sunday law comes, we are all running same direction, right? <laughs> we are all hiding. Okay. But we have to tell the truth because those who don't submit to the truth, sila ang magsumbong sa atin. Yung hindi nakakaintindi, sila daw ang mag, uh, ano, sumbong. And the second coming, when is Jesus Christ coming? We know not the hour. Even if Ellen G. White says 6,000 years, 6,000 years, all that, all, everywhere, so many 6,000 years, kaya na tayo mag-start ng 6,000? We don't know, yeah? Ellen White says, masasabihin yung day and the hour like thunder, but those who don't believe later will not understand it in the last day events book. Yeah, so we don't know. And if people say a few years, Ellen White says you cannot say uh, five or ten or something years because no time prophecy beyond 1844. Yeah, no, no more. That is the header of the code of the no, subtitle in the book Last Day Events. So no more time uh, prophecy beyond 1844 according to E.G. White's state. <clears throat> Death and resurrection, no problem. You know why all the martyrs didn't care about burning, being burned in the state, because there is refund. Diba? If, you have, if you will be refunded by God of everything you, you spend, you will spend everything, yeah? That is how life works and money and influence in, in the gospel world. We can die, but God can resurrect us and refund us of our life. <clears throat> this life is very short. 70 years, 80 years, it's like I was a kid last time, and now I'm grown up. <laughs> and now some people are just waiting to die. But while we are still alive, just try to fill our life with all the good things to save other people also. Because time is short. Yeah. Yeah. Eternal life to the redeemed. Wow. And, nasaan ang mga patay? They are there in the cemetery. <laughs> they are not somewhere. Uh, walking around. End millennium and the end of sin. Yeah? 6,000 years for Satan to prove his point and after that, the earth has a rest, 1,000 years resting, uh, dead. Those who are not saved are dead. Those who are who accept Jesus Christ, they are in heaven doing accounting. Lahat kayo ay auditor daw dun. Bakit kaya naligtas tayo? Parang yung mga kulakuhan, di ba? You are amazed why, why you are there. And you are looking for other people also who are not there. And that is for us to understand everything that God is uh, so logical and loving. And uh, long suffering. So, yan yung end of sin. Kaya yung mga kayamanan natin, masusunog din yan. <laughs> it will burn also. So let us invest it and ask God what to do with it. In the new heaven and new earth, all our, our riches here will not match it. We have to rebuild our house anyway. So, in the new heaven and the new earth, very nice. Yeah? Love, joy, no more sin, and no more sinners have passed away. And according to the last chapter of Great Controversy, God is love. God will declare that God is love and He shall reign forever. Wow, amazing. So, kaya po po, uh, the, the reason I wanted to go through the beliefs is because in... Uy, 12.30 na pala. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Good afternoon. Let me just finish. Because in the Jesus parable of the sower, those, kasi marami daw nag-backslide. Bakit nag-backslide? Kasi hindi nakakaintindi. Sabi ni Jesus, yung hindi nakakaintindi, nakakaintindi ng word, kukunin ng ibon. Yung nakakaintindi, those who understand will have fruit 30-fold, 60-fold. So the difference between those who have fruit and those who will be backslide are those understanding of the doctrines. That's why we have to review 
from time to time. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, thank you, Lord, for the truth. Forgive us because we don't know what to do. We didn't know what to do. Please give us wisdom and understanding and resolve to do what is right according to your will. Thank you for hearing us in our prayers and for forgiving us from all our foolishness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. response to our message this morning, let us all stand and sing Holy God.
Palaga po ko uwi sa Inspire Park Talk na tayo. Thank you po. Tangapon na luto ha. Oo. Ay, ang tayo rito. Luto nyo ngayon yung mga kahit delikat. May painit lang. May painit lang. Hindi pa ako nakakabasya sa'yo. Nato ka pa rin. Ay, ano yun, sa Payang Registration, yung Elta? Kaya hindi ko marinig yung mga license. Kasi yun yung Payang Elta. Tapos ngayon, sumulat pa sa atin. Mas maganda kong kuna. Para ba sana, para parang one stop. Oo nga, doon sa diba sa kapitolyo? Sa kapitolyo? Oo. Tapos dalawang beses na. Dalawang beses na. Noong una, pati din. Oo. Hanggang bandang huli, wala na doon sa, ano, wala na doon sa, inulit ko na naman. Hindi may old na kan mo? Kenta? Picture on to. Sabi ko kay Sir, skip yung kape. Paano yan? Skip ko naman po. Paano kaya, Sir? Aayos na ako sa Sabat po. Bala na na ako ito eh. Tapos, hiningan ako ng ano, hiningan ako ng proof. Tapos, wala lumabas hanggang na wala. Eh, ulit ko ulit. Paglabas, para yung mga license ba, paano, pag-ano. Ay, 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 